Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the G-Priv 2 kit. Um, this is the Luxe Edition. This is by Smock. It is a touchscreen device. It does go up to 230 watts. It comes with the TF V12 Prince tank on it, which I've gone over, but I'll just briefly touch on it down below. Um, it does go as low as 1 watt to 230 watts. It does have temperature control as well as um, TCR settings. So we're going to go ahead and go down and take a look at it. Okay, so here we are with the Smock G-Priv 2 kit. This is the Lux Edition. This is the box that it comes in. It's kind of a beefy box, but you'll see why. Um, there's your scratch off authenticity. It says made in China. And then you've got some specifications on the back. It tells you what the kit includes, which is the mod, the tank, two coils, uh, replacement glass, um, glass for it, user manual, and the USB cable. And yeah, so that's the box that it comes in. And when you open up the box, go slide that off open it up i actually have the rainbow version so this is the rainbow version of course this is gonna be don't eat it um silica gel here's the mod here inside the box if you lift this up you actually get this protecting um it's sort of like a case sort of like you would do for your phone and get a phone case this is a case so it can protect it from scratching and getting all dinged up but the um, mod will work anyways and then we do have some extras in here. This is gonna be your battery safety card. If your battery looks like any of these, you don't wanna use it. You wanna make sure that um, you do have a good battery. This is the quality inspection card. So um, it has passed quality. And this is also um, to scan and verify your product as well. Here is the user manual. And um, this user manual, it gives all the details. You've actually got all your specifications here. If you wanna go ahead and pause the video, um, it does, um, it is 85 by 52 by 27.3 millimeters. It does have a power range of one watt to 230 watts. The resistance range in variable wattage is a 0.1. That's as low as you can go in resistance to a 2.5 ohm. Um, again, that's in variable wattage. In temperature control, you can actually go down as low as 0.05 ohms all the way to two ohms. Um, the temperature ranges are 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees to 315 degrees Celsius. Um, and that is it. Any other information, you can actually get it in the book. It's gonna tell you all about it. Um, it tells you about the mod, um, the preparation before use, how to install your batteries. Um, it also gives you these warnings. So if you get any of these type of warnings, then you know exactly what they're for, which I think is a really, really great thing. And then it tells you how to program it and how to go through the menus and things like that. It is really, really thin because this is only in English. Um, so there are no other languages. Um, inside this baggie, you will get some extra O-rings, you'll get the extra fill port, um, and then the extra coil. This coil is, this is the V12 um, Prince coil, the T10. And this one is the 0.12 ohm. It goes from 60 to 120 uh, watts, but it's best between 80 and 110. So that's that one. And then we have this one that's already installed. Let's go ahead and take that out. We have one already installed in here. And this is the 0.4 ohm coil. And it goes, it's best, it goes from 40 to 100 watts, but it's best at 60 to 80 watts. And that's that one. And it's got um, the signal, sim, signal, the symbol right there. And we'll go through this in a second. I'm just gonna finish off the box. We do have the USB cable as well as the extra glass, which is always, always great. The only thing is, is that um, Smock is actually sending the extra glass as a regular flat glass, not the bubble glass like the tank actually has on it. So if you break the bubble glass, there is no extra bubble glass. You would have to use the flat one. So we'll go ahead and put all this stuff away and we'll start on the tank. So I have actually um, reviewed two of these, um, the um, Prince tanks, the TFV12 Prince tanks. So I'm not gonna go too far into detail. I will tell you that they're getting better at their drip tips and matching them. <laughs> this is the Cobra style drip tip. And it's really, really hard when you first get it, but it does come off. There we go. Oh, I, I love these things. 
Okay, and it comes off. It does have an 810 size, but it's not goon, compa goon style compatible because of the O-rings on the drip tip. And then that goes in really, really firm. Again, I've already done two of these um, Prince tanks. Uh, the top one thing I do love, love, love about the Prince tanks, if you've seen my other reviews, is the fact that it's actually got a locking mechanism here. So in order for you to open it, you do have to press the lock first and then you would swing it open and then you would fill your liquid down here. And then it locks back in place. It does say smock here. Then you've got two big airflow holes. Um, they are um, on a stopper. So whatever you do to one side will happen to the other. This is the bottom of it, designed by Smock, and it's rainbow all the way through, the whole um, tank, and this it's as Then well. to change your coil, all you need to do is just unscrew the base like this. When you do, it's gonna come out with the coil on it. To replace your glass, you would just pop it off like this. This is one whole piece. So you, again, be very, very careful with the glass. This is the only bubble glass. And with the bubble glass, it does hold eight milliliters of e-liquid. If you wanna change out your coil, all you have to do is just unscrew the coil here. Again, this is the um, Q4 coil. That's the inside of the coil. That's that one. Um, I'm actually going to stay with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and lube it up because anytime you do get a sub-ohm tank, you do wanna go ahead and lube up your coils and let it sit and then vape on it. You don't wanna vape on it directly or you will get cotton flavor. For today's e-liquid, I've actually brought out my mint to be. This is the best, best, best spearmint flavor. If you like just spearmint flavors, this is it. I'll leave a link down below. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> this is my favorite. Fa I'm, I'm like holding it. I don't even want to use it because I'm scared of running out. But this is like the best spearmint flavor. And we're going to go ahead and soak the cotton. And then what I do is I just put a little bit in these little holes just to try to help it along. It's hard to get in these holes of this particular coil. Usually it's a little bit easier, but it's okay because it's gonna go in the glass anyways. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put just a little bit more here because it's gotta go down into the coil, but you're not gonna oversaturate it. You're just gonna put enough and then you just screw this back in. And then once it's screwed in, you're gonna go ahead and unlock it and open it up. And I have e-liquid all over my hand, but then we do it like the boys and just wipe it on our pants. But anyways, <laughs> and then all you do is you just go ahead and fill it. Yum, I can smell the spearmint. I really love it. Especially like an after work vape. It's like amazing. So what I wanna do is just put this aside so we can go over the okay, mod. So here we are with the G Priv. Uh, two Lux Edition mod. This um, it does come with this little peely thing. I did leave mine on there because I didn't want it to be scratched up for the review. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. So you take that off, and then it's all clean, and you don't have any fingerprints or anything. This is a fingerprint magnet, so if you're worried about fingerprints, that's a good thing that this the little glove thing comes with it, um, glove case. So you can put that on it. And this is the back. It is again a 230 watt temperature control device. This is the G Priv Two. This is your firing button. This is actually your locking button. This will lock the screen. It will not lock the firing button. It'll lock the screen. And then this is the front of the screen. On the bottom, you do have some battery ventilation as well as your USB for firmware upgrades. I do not recommend ever, ever, ever charging your um, batteries, your external batteries inside a mod. Um, I always recommend an external charger unless it has an internally built mod, um, battery. It does have a spring-loaded 510 there. And that's that, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on after we check the batteries. I did go ahead and put in two fresh batteries. It does have four magnets. They do hold on really, really um, good. Let me just show you this. It's really, really well indicated on the bottom. You see it's minus and plus, so you can't really get this um, confused. Plus it's got a whole bunch of protections anyway, so it would not let you fire them on if you put them in incorrectly anyways. So go ahead and do that. And the back comes on really really hard i love the magnets i'm um, very very strong to turn it on you're going to click five times and it's going to say smock gpriv2 it's also going to give you your version if you do a firmware upgrade that will change on the front you're going to see the word menu this is how you get into the menu there's your battery indicators here's your puff counter um amperage voltage as well as your resistance 
And um, this is where you would change your wattage. This is, again, it is a touch screen. So all you have to do is just touch it and you can adjust your wattage. It does go from one watt all the way up to 230 watts. If you hold it down, it will go a lot faster as you can see. Just not fast enough, but it's going fast. 230 watts, and then you can lower it back down. Yeah, there you go. Um, this will also tell you how many seconds you've actually pressed the okay, so to fire get into the menu. You just press the menu button. It's that easy. It's really, really nice. Um, this is your variable wattage mode, your temperature control mode, your screen, and your puffs. We're going to go ahead and go into the variable wattage mode. To turn off the wattage, you just turn it off, and then you can turn it back on. Your preheat is the soft, hard, normal, or max. Um, this is actually your vape strength. I keep mine in normal, but if you want to change it, all you have to do is just press it, and it'll keep it. You press back on the menu, and it'll go back to the screen. You can press the TC. This has got the titanium, nichrome, and stainless steel. In temperature control, if you want to turn it on, all you have to do is press the yes button or the check mark, and then you pick the, temp the temperature type that you want, titanium, nichrome, or I'm sorry, nickel, duh. <laughs> I constantly call that nichrome, it's nickel. So titanium, nickel, and stainless steel. Um, this does have a preheat, so you can actually change your wattage in temperature control and it will go all the way up to the full 230 watts. There we go, and then you can take it down, my big ass finger in the way, to whatever you want it, and that'll give you your ramp up time. If you wanna change your TCR settings, all you have to do is press this, and then you can go ahead and change that. For your screen, this is actually to change your colors of your screen. Right now, mine is green. I can change it to blue, purple, yellow, red, or white. For your screen time, you can actually change this right now. Mine is up to 60 seconds, so it'll turn off every 60 seconds. You can change that. It goes as high as, I wanna say 120. Oh no. Wow, it goes up to 240 seconds, and it goes as low as, I wanna say it was five seconds. I was playing with this. Let's go ahead and go there. Let's go back down. 15 seconds. I knew it was something with a five, right? Mine up to, let's do mine at 70 seconds. Timeout screen. 70, okay, and then we can go back to menu. And then if you wanna reset your puff counter, you can actually turn this on and it will reset it. I already reset it before this video, but you can change it here if you wanna go ahead and choose your puffs. If not, then just leave it at zero and that's an infinite number. You don't have to worry about it then. And yeah, so that's the screen. To turn it off, you would click it five times. And then it's gonna ask you power off or on. yes or no. So you go ahead and choose yes. And it's then gonna turn power it back it on. It's just five clicks. And that'll turn it back on. Um, if you wanna lock your screen, all you have to do is press this little button here and that will actually lock your screen and that way um, you won't press any buttons to unlock it, just press it again, and that way you can see it. Oh, sorry. There we go, and it's unlocked. To lock the mod itself so that it won't fire, you click the, the sidebar three times, and now the fire key is locked. So the whole device is locked now, so you can't touch it, you can't change anything, and you can't fire it. So to unlock it, one, two, three, and now it's unlocked. And to take this little lock off, if you press and hold that little button up there, it'll actually unlock it. And then you can go ahead and make your changes on it if you want to. So let's go ahead and put the mod on, I mean the tank on top. And then we're gonna go up top and we're gonna have a vape and I'll give you my pros and cons. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Smock uh, G-Priv 2 Lux Edition. Um, so let's go ahead and have a vape. Let's start it that way, yeah, that works. Yeah, I accidentally purged. Sorry. Yeah, so, I mean, it's got, this is, again, this is the, I think the Q4, the 0.4 ohm coil. Um, it does show um, all the information on the screen. It shows your resistance. It shows your wattage. Of course, I'm never at an even wattage, so don't even worry about that. 
It shows your battery indicator. I mean, it's got everything that you need and I like that it's touchscreen. Um, I also like that you can lock it so that you won't accidentally, you know, press anything. Um, I do like that it has the fire um, lock as well so that you can lock the fire button, but I'm not exactly sure why you would. If you're gonna lock the fire button, you might as well just turn the device off, in my opinion. Um, so that to me would be sort of like a con because I, I don't understand that option. Um, I like the little button so that you can lock it. That to me, I think is really, really cool. Um, I've never seen that before. I love the color of it and the feel of it. It's a nice size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It fits right in the hand. Um, I like that they do the matching tank with it. I'm not 100% loving the drip tip. I like the style of it and I like some of the colors, but sometimes when they match them, they don't match them perfectly. Like this is rainbow and it's got red in it. I'm, it's got purple, green, and everything. I mean, that's just my opinion. But that's a nitpick, picking opinion. Um, uh, other people love it, so that's not a problem. It does come in silver, gold, rainbow, blue, gunmetal, and black. So you can get them in all the colors. I do like that they give you this little sleeve to put on it. Um, so that that way um, you won't scratch it or anything. I think that's really, really cool. But if I have the rainbow, I really want to see my rainbow. So I probably will not use this. Um, I like the fact that it does the wattage and temperature control. That to me is always, always a pro. Um, the menu on this one compared to others from Smock is really, really user friendly. It's easy to get into it. It says what it is. It gives you the options to change it. So I think that this is really, really a plus. Um, compared to the other um, mods that they've had. So I think it's really, really user friendly. You can actually get this at sourcemore.com. Right now they have the whole kit for $72. You can also get it at like smoketech.com or Vapor DNA and Element Vape also have it. It's a little bit more, but um, Source More does have free shipping. So it'll be $72 free shipping and you get it. Um, I do love this bubble glass on the TFU V12 prints. It's my favorite, favorite glass. I just wish this smock would actually put an extra bubble glass. I like the fact that they give you an extra glass, but it would be nice if it was the same type of glass that this has. Um, another big pro for me on the tank, especially, is the fact that it does hold eight milliliters of e-liquid and you can get an RBA base for it. So those are my pros, pros, pros for that. Also the locking mechanism, I'll always say it about the TFE 12. I love that locking so that it doesn't accidentally just swivel open. So that's awesome. And the colors are just beautiful. Yes, it's a fingerprint magnet, but I do love the colors. So yeah, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification that's right next to the subscribe button because a lot of people have actually um, had their notifications off. Um, somehow YouTube is actually dropping the notifications. I'm not sure why, but it is happening again. So just make sure that you have that on so that anytime that I do upload a new video, you will be the first to see it. So um, yeah, so that's about it. Sourcemore.com. Smock G Priv um, 2 Kit Luxe Edition. And I guess until the next one, see you later.